welcome back if you've been following here at the City by City Festival. My name is Martin Brunskow. I'm chair of uh, the OASC and it's my great pleasure to have with me here now uh, a couple of colleagues who are working actually with something very, very central to the network. I have with me here uh, Ramon Ferri um, from the city of Valencia, but also uh, chairing the uh, United Nations efforts called United for Smart and Sustainable Cities and Communities towards new common platforms that can be used locally in city and other public administrations. It's immensely challenging. Um, some of you may have been following the previous session where we talked more overall about what is the U for SSC. But now we dive into the technical path. And Ramon, uh, thank you for being here with us. I mean, please introduce yourself a little bit and give an overview of what is coming here. I hope later we can maybe uh, follow up also what OASC is uh, specifically doing here and our CTO, uh, Gerd, uh, might also join us. But uh, Ramon, please, over to you. Okay, thank you very much, Martin. Thank you very much for the, um, the invitation to be part of this uh, City by City Festival. Um, I am Ramon Ferri, I'm a Smart City Officer of Valencia. I've been 12 years uh, working on uh, with IT responsibilities on that. So I am now in the Smart City Officer, so I'm, I'm also coordinating the city platform on, on thematic group on U United for SSC. So I'm going to give you an explanation of what Anna, our presentation here. I'm going to try to, to share my... Can you see it? Yes, uh, I'm nodding, but I'm not being seen, so it has no effect. Yes, we see it perfectly. Thank you. Yeah, I try to. Okay, yeah, perfect. So here, my presentation is, is going to have two main parts. The first one is just trying to explain you how the IT platforms uh, has been evolved for, for integrated city management how in 12 years, how, how we have uh, progress and make an evolution of this IT management. Uh, again, well, I'm going to explain you in, in, in the case of Valencia, how we have to organize the administrative units to, to manage this IT uh, complexity. And then I'm going to focus on uh, United for Smart and Sustainable City, Cities uh, thematic groups on city platform. First of all, I would like to, to say to you that uh, digital transition is a continuous journey. Uh, in the case of uh, local administration, we, and in the case of Europe and in Spain, we have uh, on 28, we have a law that uh, gives uh, people, citizens, the electron, electronic rights. And then we have to do evolution to uh, vertical um, administrative uh, information system to another horizontal ones. So may we have to provide some common blocks in order to provide this unique uh, relationship services to the citizen. So then this, this is, um, we spend more than five years trying to do that. And uh, uh, now in 2013, um, political commitment on to be a smart and sustainable cities give us the, the chair to also change the information system for public services to have these horizontal um, services and, and platforms and components and applications and we, we perform these urban data platforms uh, solutions. So now we are in a convergence digital agenda. So we have Europe digital agendas and national digital agenda. We have to focus on how we can pro take all these blocks and put them together and manage it and make a good governance of, of all this IT that we have in our city. So we have to focus on the four main actors that we have uh, to provide them solutions, that is cities, that are uh, citizens, that are obviously uh, our service of the city. But again, we have to work on in, in among cities in order to provide the unique solutions for that. And of course, we have to manage all the uh, stay by uh, all the day by day uh, solution, operative solutions of, of this IT. So we have to focus on um, on these operations, and then we have also in 2030 urban agendas that they want to that we focus on 
uh, missions. So then again, IT has the responsibility to get all this information, all these services, and then manage it in order to provide these missions. So again, we have uh, internal budget to, to do that, and we have external uh, financing to help us to do that. But in, in, I think that the, mess, the, the main point is that how we can manage all these things together, how we can manage all these platforms and, and be in a, in, a, in a governance, in a good governance. This is the uh, more or less than a smart IT ecosystem that any city can have uh, now. So then we have a city IT core uh, solution that is uh, concerning a, an a administration platform. We have a urban data platform to solve all the information that comes to the city. We have a ge geographical information systems, and then we have also the city, uh, the city databases that is uh, organization, territory, and citizen. This is the core element that we, we have to uh, provide in a service-oriented uh, solutions in order to be able to integrate with cloud services that we have for, for another uh, information system to with external system also. We have to deal with all the uh, citizen solutions, electronic site, geo portal, city app, uh, citizen dashboard, open government portals and so on. And all, all these things has been managed in, a, in an interoperable way, you know? And also we have a smart services that at the previous time comes with solutions from private sector. And then we have to take all this information and the services to them and, and, and make uh, original services to, for example, Bay tools or APIs or balance scorecard that, uh, that uh, any uh, manager a strategic or operative of the city have all the information uh, from a different uh, information systems in the city. So we have uh, to provide them with a digital transformation and then we are done by um, many, many solutions. So any IT um, city management has to have a smart city office and then we need an organizational issue in order to to an, an, an administrative uh, unit to provide all the services to the rest of the city. So we have uh, identified the smart uh, action layers. That the first one is that we need to manage in a in a in a seamless way the connectivity because we have to deploy a number of IoT. We have to deploy new technologies like 5G. So then we have to have a unique connectivity strategy for the city. And then we have to focus on the enabled components, the smart enabled components that we have seen that uh, in the previous slide that is urban data platform. All IoT that's come to this unique repos informational repository of the city. It's really important that this unique repository of the city has the geographical information system also integrated in some way. So then we have a city app that must be unique or must be uh, in a way that all the services go to this city app and then put in the in the near uh, the citizen and then we have also the open data portals and so on it's another important layer that is the digital transformation of services so then we have to take all the information system from these services and to put this information to this unit repository and again we have a good uh, formula that is to try to introduce in the public tenders a smart clauses in order that they, we obtain the information from these uh, public tenders and then obviously or we assure that this information come to this uh, to our um, urban platform or urban data platform or at least this information comes through integration through the our buses in order to all the information come to this uh, to this platform and again, we have smart solutions like uh, the one that, that I told you before. And it's really important to provide a external part of the urban data platform to our ecosystem, to our researchers, and to our uh, entrepreneurship. And then, obviously, we have to come in with a standard. So it's really important to, to try to focus on the international standards and obviously also working between cities in, in um, network, in, for example, in Spain, with the network of uh, smart city, um, uh, sorry. And then 
we have um, just just to little bit uh, urban platform for us. I think that uh, you need to integrate all the information coming from other informa uh, informational systems, and then obviously from IoT devices. It's really important not only to have this uh, unit repository, but uh, have a context management in order that to provide this interdomain uh, data through different urban areas. So it is really important and then to take this information, not only to big data, but also to uh, inter interchange information and knowledge between different areas of the city that until now, if we have in this uh, urban platform, it is impossible to obtain it. As I told you before, it's really important to have an open government portal, city, GSA, and also this unique app for the city because then all the information, real-time information, comes to, through services to this city app to the near of the citizen needs. It is important also if you have all this information there together, then we can provide this unified city dashboard to our planners and operatives. We can provide administrative dashboard to our any service of our cities. Of course, we can provide cities, citizen dashboard and of course, we can provide the geoportal and, and spatial uh, dashboards. So, I think that this is more or less the same the case of uh, many European cities, at least. So, what we are going is just trying to go together and to provide guidelines to other cities that uh, they are started, they're starting the journey. So, then um, the previous, my previous colleagues uh, explained what is the United for Smart and Sustainable Cities. So, I'm going just to focus on that we have another of uh, thematic groups. So we, one of them is the city platforms. So I'm going to focus on the city platform, what, what we are doing in this thematic group. So this thematic group on city platforms tries to describe from a city perspective, from a city experience, the best practice in integrated management of, uh, of the city using city platform. Again, we would like to describe the state of the art of ICT, not only for uh, city management, but also to intelligent um, um, health systems. Um, we are working with OACC to try to make a new architecture for this city platform containing emerging technologies and also um, we are trying to study a prospect of implementation in different environments. So this is our, this uh, working group is working with, uh, this thematic group is working in through four main working groups that I'm going to explain. Maybe Gerd can explain you the third one. So I'm the coordinating the first one that is um, uh, the state of the art of urban data platform. So we will try to provide uh, cities that give you, uh, describe uh, their smart city strategy, how they are governing a smart project, and the principles of uh, city platforms or a set of components that constitute this city platform. Again, we will try to describe uh, summarizing the technical architecture of the city platform in place and in different smart enabled components and solutions for citizen and city services. Uh, we would like to summarize to any other cities to provide guidelines for them and describe how the, 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 head, uh, the main cities are uh, using their uh, te technical, administrative, and project management organization in order to support the smart office. Again, we would like to demonstrate the strategy management, the evolution to this smart and sustainable city, and how the main cities are communing with the standards and, and concerning both procedural and technological aspects to use management. Of course, we would like to explain also the economical sustainability of these uh, urban data platforms and the services that are providing support to these urban data platforms. And again, we would like to describe the relationship with citizens, innovation ecosystems, and belonging, and sharing and replication of these smart and sustainable city solutions. So this is the working group one deliverable draft that we are working on. So the working group two is concerning public health emergency management. So we would like to, this, I think that this crisis of COVID-19 has a slight difficulty that cities have in terms of resiliency in responding to disaster. I think that is what, what is really comes to us is that it's really difficult to interoperate with between different institutions that have different competencies and then we have to interoperate between each other. 
So this working group tries to describe ICT policies and tools used to face the pandemics. So good experience on that and requirements of the ICT implementation for integrated public health emergency management system with a specific attention to the interoperability needs between all these actors and city platforms. And concerning not only information systems from cities, but also information systems for, for other institutions. So the third working group, the working group three, I would like that, Jared, if it is possible, that uh, give an explanation of what you are doing on this working group. It is possible there. Yes, yes, we, we can clearly do that. Uh, and and Geert, uh, maybe you want to, to jump in and do that. We have a few uh, uh, slides to support, but I think uh, it's good if, if you uh, just maybe quickly present yourself, Geert, because uh, yep. the audience has not and, uh, met you. Yeah. But I guess, as uh, Yamo points out in the chat, um, we're all visible. So uh, get over to you. And uh, Ramon, you can still show the slide. I think, okay. I think the, the Perfect. faces are visible. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I'm uh, Gerte Tant. I'm a technical uh, architect at OAC, so supporting on, on, on the MIMS um, and working yeah, uh, together with uh, ITU and Ramon on working group three for the uh, uh, urban data platforms where we are yeah, establishing the specifications for the urban data uh, platforms together with Mark. So that was my quick uh, introduction on working group three yeah we're working really on on providing the specifications uh towards the, that open the uh urban data platforms on how they um they can interrupt with with uh, the different things how they will realize the data interoperability and the api interoperability uh we're, we're building them based on on what we have as a was the the mims and looking at at the other standards that are out are out there and how we can uh, marry them together and see how we can, can then come to a, a new uh, urban data platform architecture that we can propose to all the cities on, on these are the specifications you should look on when you acquire or build or buy uh, a new platform um, and, and you have so that those cities will have a framework where they can rely on and then also solutions that are built on, on top of these frameworks can then uh, travel across these cities and, and be deployed in different cities. Uh, and in such a way allows the cities to really yeah, emerge on new technologies, uh, have new innovations based on, on top of that. Uh, that's the, the global idea. So we're not only focusing really on, this, on, on APIs, but also on in data information models, uh, ontologies, um, context information, uh, those things. That is the things that are part of that work. We have a quite an, ex uh, an uh, elaborate group on experts from experts that are working really on, on camera and, and, and those feeds and really have privacy sensitive information to people that are really working on, on how do we do AI and analytics. So uh, it's a, quite an elaborate group. So I'm, I'm very happy to, uh, to be part of this. Thank you. Martin, I don't know if you want to add things to that. No, I think it's fine. I mean, uh, Ramon, please continue with the rest of the work and, and uh, you can have a conversation about this. Uh, yeah, I might be out for a second, but uh, please continue. Okay, perfect, Martin. So then the, the last working group was concerning the future scenario using city platforms. We would like to see uh, how in several multidisciplinary challenges that cities are addressing uh, concerning, for example, um, uh, smart destination or public health or climate change. So we would like to see on which prospect, uh, prospective analysis of the affected actors, processes, services, public spaces will be able to manage with this uh, city platform specific uh, instance in order to hold city and solutions uh, to build can, be, can help provide better future responses to these challenges how cities can provide uh, to be more efficient face with these uh, challenges. So in this case, in this future scenario, city platform working group four, we are, work, work, we are going to, um, to make an integral, a study on integral platform for intelligent and resilient management of these destinations. So in these smart destinations. So this solution try to 
include all the dimensions of the destination with an approach based on intelligence and the use of data, the integration of all the stakeholders and actors and systems through interoperable and open solutions in a model of interterritoriality and interadministrative cohesion and, and that scales through public-private collaboration. So how with City Platform we can be able to manage uh, uh, and the integration needed for this smart destination. And this methodology is going to be structured in four main phases, an analysis of di and diagnosis of the current situation of the smart ma maturity level of the destination, trying to identify and pri prioritize the, the challenges that uh, smart city concerning the smart city that won't, won't be um, a smart destination, how they can have a strategic plan and roadmap and try to monitor in an evaluation the effect and the evolution to this smart city implementation. And, and that is that was all that I have here, Martin. Thank you very much, uh, Ramon, for this comprehensive overview. And, and I think it's a really, really excellent starting point also what you describe with how the strategic work in one municipality, Valencia, is then reflected into funded projects that do things and in a way you evolve. But the next question becomes, every city should not reinvent the wheel and every city cannot you know, follow your path. Also, every city is different in a way. I mean, I don't know, timing of the council sitting, the new mayor, whatever happens. So um, what do you see as the crucial steps for consolidating the learnings from so many places? And, and probably they are quite contextual, they are quite specific if we look around the planet. We had in the previous session the discussion about KPIs, that, okay, how can we meaningfully measure things across so many sites? Do you have some reflections on how can we find this minimal common ground across so many territories? Yeah, well, I, I, I think that, first of all, we, we need a leadership of our political in order to be patient, to give us the, the sufficient time to, um, to manage this IT complexity. And I think that one of the main points that is, uh, all the cities has to address is that, first of all, to have a, a service-oriented architecture. I don't mind which way. But do you need to do you need to any IT works on the on the core of the that they, they have to do, and then we need to an orchestration uh, management of this all this IT in our uh, facilities. So then we, we we are going to have internal many ecosystem of IT and external also, and then we have to manage that. Which are the main components that you have to build horizontally, corporative in your city, and which one can be can be performed by others, by privacy, and also in a in a in a cloud. But uh, there is some some number of main core IT components that must be managed uh, by city managers. I think IT city managers. Yeah. I think that this is the main point. Yeah, it's it's really interesting to see. So of course, the United Nations is everyone, and we talked about this in the previous session. But then we see maybe there's a global common ground. And then in Japan, it gets unfolded in a specific way. In Europe, in a specific way. In Africa, it will be uh, tuned to different situations and so on. So, so do you see that we will have, when, in, in, in three years, in five years, a, a, a kind of specification which is firm enough that the the global regions and the national levels can actually start aligning so that we also get a market around this. Well, yeah, I, I think that um, at least in Spain concerning electronic administration, I think that in Europe it's a volunteer to, to have uh, this, uh, uh, um, this uh, uh, framework, interoperability framework for a smart city. So I think that this kind of thing is that, as I told you before, we need a, a specific component that must be managed in the city. So I think that there is concrete core component that might be uh, done in national level, European level, and maybe world level. Why not? For example, the, the number of the passport. The passport number must be a, a unique, a, a, not a unique, but it's 
so simple that that, but, yeah. uh, but it is impossible information system from a country to uh, manage all the different ways, nomenclature to make a, 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 passport, a passport number, you know, identity, identification. Right. So there's just quick, clear, clear things that uh, core things that must be um, assure, but there must be a solution in, in a yeah. different level. So of course, this could easily be an ontology of the world, which is of course very difficult to to uh, convene on in every detail. Gerd, uh, if, if I can ask you for a final thought. So in, in the new architecture, I really like that name, the new architecture that, that, that is driven uh, from, from your chair as well. So uh, what are the next concrete steps? What will you be discussing with the cities and the experts? And when will you deliver? <laughs> okay, uh, good question. Um, first of all, yeah, the, the things that, that we um, are now discussing, we, we created a, a, a new uh, version of the document where we included um, yeah, uh, some use cases and um, added yeah, the architecture, have, have some new index and then added some use cases to make it really um, appear, uh, appealing to the cities to, to, to understand also what it is about because that's also one of the things we're talking a lot about architecture. It's really fun for architects, uh, but also your cities and your city councils need to understand what is what is the benefit of this. What, why are we doing this? What, why is it important to talk about data and 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 uh, and, uh, and how the data flows into your city and why you should uh, gather your data and, and why you, you should do the, these analytics? So I think that's very important now in the next steps to make that clear on, on what those use cases are. And then, yeah, we, we are still elaborating on, for me, a, a very important aspect is the personal data on how we, we can include that um, and how, because I think that, that that will be the next um, uh, big thing to tackle on how we will make, with trust of the citizen, use their data in their really benefit uh, and make the cities more uh, uh, interactive towards the citizen and really give benefits to, to the city and the citizens in, in, in respect of, of the, the GDPR uh, and the trust of the citizens. And then of course, yeah, linked to that fair AI, how do we make it transparent to the citizens and what we are doing and those things. Those are, are the things that I am tackling in the next things. Um, uh, my my uh, deadline is, uh, if I'm not mistaken, is, is somewhere in the middle of, of uh, February. So that's when uh, we will have our, our uh, version, uh, hopefully uh, ready and, and uh, agreed on, on by the expert group. Fantastic. Ramon, uh, we need to wrap up. Any, what will be the format of this? So for people who are seeing this and want to wait for this to happen, what will be the format uh, that comes out of, of the group here? Yeah, I think that each uh, four working groups is going to deliver a uh, deliverable. And I, it is the same like, like, uh, like in the other uh, activities of the um, um, uh, United Forest Management Society of Cities. They, they provide guidelines, and then you have uh, in the web page of this ITU, then you can obtain this information, and then you obtain the guidelines, you know, and, and city planners can read it and try to, to follow it. Okay, and they will be ready around summer or, or something like this. I expect to have um, before, but I don't know. Maybe okay. we we have we, can, we have to manage for for working groups. We will okay. try. We will okay. try. Fantastic, Difficult. Um, Ramon. Thanks for being with us and thanks for supporting the conversation here. I think it's a really really good example of how city by city citizen by citizen and country and continent and so on. So thanks for the hard work and thanks for your, uh, to your mayor and council for giving you the time to do what so many cities do not. I, I think it's, it's really fortunate that we have these giving uh, mindsets. Uh, so thank you to Valencia and also to the whole U4SSC community. Thank you, Gerd, for being with us here.